Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Nash Matras Gong. A bit of an emotional video this one because uh, this is related to the neural link video that they posted this morning and I watched that. Most of you know me as a guy who reviews EVs, Teslas, does DIY upgrades, but I'm also a doctor and I'm a radiologist and my specialty interest is neuroradiology. And this particular neural link video really moved me to tears and we'll talk about all that in this video. Let's do this. Right, so Neuralink did post a video this morning of a young gentleman who is the first recipient of the Neuralink chip. And he is a quadriplegic and he's been a quadriplegic for some time now. And now he is able to do a few tasks with just the power of his mind. And that blew my mind, I must say. You want to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name's Nolan Arbaugh. I'm 29 years old. Um, about eight years ago, I was in kind of a freak diving accident and uh, dislocated my C4, C5. So I'm a complete um, quadriplegic. Uh, so I'm paralyzed from below the shoulders. I have no sensation or movement uh, below my level of injury. So below my shoulders. Yeah, that, that So this uh, gentleman, Noel, uh, he has been on this neural link chip for some time now. And now he has mastered the way that he can use the neural link chip to control the cursor in his computer. We'll see this in just a bit. Um, I had to use like a mouse stick and stuff, but now it's all uh, it's all being done with my brain. If y'all can see the cursor moving around the screen, that's that's all me, y'all. Um, it's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Actually, can you pause the song just for the yeah, audio absolutely. coming through? And that was also done with your brain? Yep. It's, <laughs> it's all brain power up there. <laughs> can you explain a little bit just to people who maybe don't have any context on this field or what's going on here. Yeah. How are you able to actually move the cursor? Yeah, so we started out with a few, trying out a few different things. Um, we basically went from what we call kind of differentiating, like imagined movement versus um, attempted movement. So a lot of what we started out with was attempting to move. So I would attempt to move, say, my right hand, left, right, forward, back to move. And um, from there, I think it just became intuitive for me to start imagining the cursor moving. Um, basically, it was like uh, using the force on a <laughs> cursor and I could get it to move wherever I wanted, just stare somewhere in the screen and it would move where I wanted it to, um, which was such a wild experience. This guy wants to know if happened. you feel like a wizard. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, it's it's. It's crazy. It really is. Um, it's so cool. I'm so freaking lucky to be a part of this and stuff. I mean, I just, every day it seems like we're new, learning new stuff and uh, I just can't even describe how, how cool it is to be able to do this. So as you can see, he's able to control the cursor with his mind and that is really, really cool. And he actually tells us how he's a, he was able to do this. First, he was able to think of using his right hand, think of using his left hand, and then he just has to look at the screen and the cursor would move at the place where he's looking at. So it's basically just with his mind, he's able to control that. Now, this in itself is not, not great. We have seen this kind of devices in the past many a time for many a year. There are devices of variable potency that have been out there. But this one is particularly important because this is such a tiny device. He was only there in the hospital for one day and then he came out and he's grown to use it. it yes, there is a learning curve to it. It's not perfect. It's still the first step. But now he is in a position where he's showing uh, to be or he's been shown to play chess in his computer and he's able to switch on, switch off the music. He's able to read books and he's accounting one particular instance where he said, I was awake the whole night playing Civilization VI. It's a video game, of course, if you guys do not know. That's right. Yeah, so um, one of the first times y'all gave me complete control over this, I actually stayed up until, yeah, it was Jeez. awesome. So I did that, I read, I like learning languages. I'm learning like Japanese right now. I'm learning a bit of French. Um, now it may seem like a trivial thing for people who watch it, they will be like, oh, what's the big deal? He's just controlling the mouse with his mind. But I'll tell you a little bit something because I have seen so many quadriplegic patients who come for multiple scans. They're usually cheerful and buoyant to start with. And as the weeks, months and years progress, they lose their buoyancy because 
not just the physical disability that's causing him the bother, it's the mental disability because their minds are still super sharp. They really want to do so much. They want to go out and conquer the world, but their physical disability impedes them from doing that. And that's what causes the depression. That's what causes the sadness because their mind is still sharp. Now, in essence, Neuralink and devices like that, but Neuralink in particular, has essentially freed this guy's mind to use a matrix expression. And that's what touched me a lot. It really brought me to tears because finally, now his mind has taken flight. He's able to play Civilization VI. seem like a trivial thing for most of us but for a person in his stature wow i'm sure he's mind blown and i was really 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 moved by this and i wrote a tweet to uh, elon musk and uh, Neuralink this morning uh, and elon has kindly liked this tweet now i'm humbled that he liked it but that's not my intention but i'll read this tweet to you you can read it as well i've said guys this is wild oh my god elon and, and Neuralink team you guys are magicians I'm a neuroradiologist by trade. Every day we see people with quadriplegia suffering, first because of the physical disability caused by the quadri, but after a time it's more the mental disability that really pushes them into depression and sadness because their minds are still active and they want to conquer the world, but their body is not willing. And that is the biggest bummer to the spirit of a human. Now this little reprieve that Neuralink has given this lovely gentleman is massive much more than what people who watch this demo would gather to use a matrix expression you have effectively freed his mind we know that this is but a first step today it may be that he's able to civilization but in the future the entire human civilization is going to be indebted to Neuralink yes I really meant that and Elon has kindly clicked on the like for this particular tweet or expose as we call it now but I'm humbled by that, but, but that is not the uh, aim of this, this uh, post at all. Now think of this, think of a scenario where a quadriplegic is able to feed himself. Maybe he can use the neural link to control a custom motor to feed himself. You know how huge that is for this gentleman or for any person who is quadriplegic? And it's a massive, massive lifestyle changing thing. Now maybe that is why Elon is concentrating on Optimus as well. Maybe Optimus can be a great caregiver for a person with quadriplegia or some neurological condition like this, where Optimus can be the caregiver. Or maybe Neuralink and Tesla can collaborate to create maybe an exoskeleton for a quadriplegic or someone with a neurological condition where it will help him to feed, feed himself or herself. That is a huge, huge, huge thing in the lifestyle of a person who is quadriplegic. And that is something all these thoughts came into my mind and that was why I was completely moved to write this particular tweet or ex post as we call it. Now, I was also thinking, um, have you have you guys uh, seen the movie Matrix where um, Morpheus brings back Neo from the real world into the Nebuchadnezzar, into the, uh, into the hovercraft and they are actually rebuilding his muscles? They say, uh, Morpheus tells him, oh, you've not used your muscles in a long time, so they've all completely gone, so you're now rebuilding your muscles. Now, motor is a very difficult process to, to gain in, in neurology. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not trivializing the neural links potency, but building back muscles to control the mind to do your motor skills is a tough thing. Maybe the exoskeleton or Optimus or some sort of robotics can be an interface for these people and that will change their lives for the better. I just can't wait to see the next step. Neuralink has promised that the next step is to make the blind see. It's such a simple statement to make the blind see, but we as people of neurology uh, and neuroradiologists or radiologists for that matter, or doctors for that matter, would know that the visual pathway is such a complex thing. It starts at the back of the brain in the occipital lobe. It has the visual tracks or the you know optic tracks and it becomes a, a constellation of nerves which sort of crisscross with each other and then form the optic nerves and then comes to the eyeballs. It is a complex, complex thing. How is this tiny little device which only takes a day to install because this gentleman was there only in the hospital for one day and he came out, which only takes a day to install. How can it make a human being see? Well, I am waiting to see the results of the same. This is National Tesla Nagong signing off. Peace.